back to the land of the living. I am Sleazeboy, and today I am going to talk about the movie La Mosta Vivante, which I've ordered last year and watched the film and loved it. And the film comes to us from the country of France, made by uh, Gene Rollins. Here is the uh, Blu ray, and it was released by Redemption, not Severin. And it's and if you watched my last video, it was, I did a review of the wildly over-the-top uh, Revenge of the Living Dead Girl. Which, despite the movie being incredibly sleazy, it was never boring. And sometimes it was humorous to watch certain scenes and the over-the-top gore and the over-the-top nudity. Now, even though I've seen Revenge of the Living Dead Girl and released my review, which you can catch here on YouTube, I've decided to review Living Dead Girl, even though I've already seen it once and, you know, enjoyed it. And there is no connection between Living Dead Girl and Revenge of the Living Dead Girl, aside from the use of chemicals to bring back the dead and the elements of gore and violence and there's also a style of differences between uh, the two filmmakers so yeah if you guys want to see more make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button for more disaster pieces like this or if you guys want have an idea or suggestion uh, watch uh, leave something down in the comments below whether it's, whether it's love or hate or just pure oddness. After Sleeping Beauty murders these two perverts, she goes and returns to her own old house where she murders two other people. Man, I would really rate this a one star in this Airbnb. I never said anything about killer zombie, vampire, whatever she is, running around. So upon getting the phone, she calls her old friend. How she managed to know what her number was, I don't know. But her friend Helene suddenly recognizes her and goes to the mansion where she ripped off those people. Upon discovering the bodies, she is horrified, but not as horrified as that one-star review she's going to receive. Would not recommend. Will end up dead. She finds her friend, Catherine, in the piano playing nude. I don't understand in what... what I, you know what, I'm not even going to bother asking why she would do that, but, but, Catherine has an urge for blood, she drinks blood, and she's very hesitant, and Helene tries to contain her, and does nothing but take care of her, and goes up to the point that she's willing to kidnap and murder her. People just to help Catherine live. If that isn't true best friend, then I don't know what it is. So in another part of the film, we focus on two characters, Barbara and Gray, uh, as they're on their tour in France, taking pictures, whatnot. They're there, and they happen to see Catherine, which start investigating town all over, trying to find out who this woman is, not knowing the danger that awaits them if they keep being nosy. Now, Catherine, it's never explained if she's a vampire or a zombie because although she has murder tendencies and sucks the blood off the living, she doesn't have any of the other characteristics. Luckily, you know, her biting you and Killing you was not going to turn you into a zombie or a vampire, which would have been pretty nice if she if she had the power to do that, but it's whatever. The only negative thing about the whole The Living Dead Girl is the fact that you'll think, oh, hey, it's a Rob Zombie song. Well, no, it's, no, it's a Gene Rollins film, but 
I'm not saying about that. Nothing wrong with the film. As far as the performance of the films, I really can't judge it since part of, most of the movie is in French and then there's also some few English dub scenes in it because of the couple, Barbara and Greg. So, but you know, it's fine because that's not, you really won't, won't care about anything else other than seeing Catherine and Helena and, and the bond these two share. And also the pretty cool gore and violence in this film, which is just so over the top and sometimes a little inventive, especially the opening. And of course, you know, the whole scenes of that Gene Rollins explore between two best friends, which I feel like that's part of this whole exploration in his movies. You know, we have two females that either love each other or hate each other. I really did enjoy watching the Blu-ray, what Redemption did for the film. It's beautiful sound, it looks beautiful, looks great. And the cover is just fantastic. Okay. It may, if you're into gruesome violence and horror, and also maybe a little bit of a lot voluptuous friendship then let's see two beautiful women murder then I definitely would recommend this movie three severed fingers out of five I will be back if I am still among the living